ever wanted to understand guitar or bass electronics but didn't want to have to get a degree, then this series is for you. Hi, my name's Ted Burmis. That was me in the intro, by the way. I'm the owner of Sonic Nuance Electronics. I have both a bachelor's and a master's degree in electronics and over 30 years of circuit design experience. In doing work on musicians' gear, I've shared knowledge with them. Several of these customers have encouraged me to share these discussions as they found them helpful. The goal of this episode and the overall series is to explain electronic concepts to musicians in simple terms so that they can use their gear effectively and focus on what matters, making music. Now, to start off with our explanation of how magnetic pickups work, let's start off with this very simple model of a guitar. It's a brown rectangle, where the upper half of the screen is gonna represent where the string and the pickups are gonna be. The lower half is your body, so this is while you're wearing your guitar and looking down. On top of this body, let's add a permanent magnet represented here in this silverish colored rectangle. Let's remove the guitar body and show the magnetic field lines around this permanent magnet and also show the guitar string above it. The purpose of the magnet is to magnetize the string above it, which brings up a good point. The string needs to be ferrous. That's a fancy word meaning it can be magnetized. Electric guitar strings can be magnetized, whereas nylon strings, as long as they don't have metal wrapped around them, cannot be magnetized. This is an important point that nylon strings require a different type of pickup known as piezoelectric pickups. We'll talk about that in a future video, so please subscribe and you'll know as soon as that one comes out. But again, we're focusing on magnetic pickups, so the string needs to be magnetizable. So back to our magnet. We are going to wrap a coil of wire around this magnet and we'll remove the magnetic field lines for simplicity. We now have our simplified magnetic pickup, which is essentially a permanent magnet wrapped with a coil of wire. In conversations with electric guitarists and bassists, when they're talking about quote unquote pickups, they're often referring to magnetic pickups. The purpose of any electric guitar or bass is to convert string vibrations, which are physical, into electrical signals. So the question is, how is the pickup going to do this? We know from high school physics that a moving magnetic field across a conductor generates an electrical signal. Magnetic pickups achieve this by converting physical movement of the string into magnetic field movement in a coil of wire, and finally, into an electrical signal. I didn't appreciate it in the last video, hence the reason for this revised video, but the string being a moving magnet generates the moving magnetic field in the coil, and hence the electrical signal. Let's let this green dot represent the electrical signal level coming out of the coils of wire. Using this representation and this simplified magnetic pickup, we can see several things. We'll look at each one next. In this animation, as the string moves after being plucked lightly, the electrical signal moves proportionally. Dashed lines represent maximum and minimum of string and electrical signal amplitudes. Let's see how things change as we change how hard the guitar string is plucked. Here we can see both the amplitude of the string is increased as well as the electrical signal's amplitude. To emphasize the effect, let's go back to our first case where we lightly plucked the guitar string. As we add more coil of wire in the pickup, the signal increases from our lightly plucked string case. Let's go back to our baseline where the string is lightly plucked. If the magnet were to be strengthened, the electrical signal would also increase. Back to our baseline where the string is lightly plucked. Finally, if the string is brought closer to the pickup, either by lowering the action or raising the pickups, the electrical signal also increases. In summary, the pickup's output signal increases if the string is played harder, more coil is added, the magnet is strengthened, or the string is brought closer to the pickup. It should be noted that each one of these affects the sound or the tone coming out of the instrument.